Okay, so this is Origin, the beginning. I'm going to do a series of these on Origin and some other early church fathers that you may not have heard of. Because in Origin's case, Origin Adamantius, makes me think Adamant. Whatever happened to Adamant? Anyways, digression. Back to Origin. He was a scholar and early Christian theologian who was born and spent the first half of his career in Alexandria. He was a prolific writer in multiple branches of theology including textual criticism, biblical exegesis and hermeneutics, philosophical theology, preaching, and spirituality written in Greek. He was anathemized at the Second Council of Constantinople. Unlike many church fathers, he was never canonized as a saint because some of his teachings directly contradicted the teachings attributed to the apostles, notably the apostles Paul and John. His teachings on the pre-existence of souls, the final reconciliation of all creatures, including perhaps even the devil, and the subordination of God the Son to God the Father, were rejected by Christian orthodoxy. The thing is, there were a lot of early church fathers that were in a more orthodox sense than the Western sense, where you had the fight between the Romans and the councils, and you had the difference. And So it's just interesting. Moving on. So his early years were, he was born in Alexandria to Christian parents, educated by his father, uh, Leonidas of Alexandria, who gave him a standard Hellenistic education, but also had him study the Christian scriptures. In 202, Origen's father was martyred in the outbreak of the persecution during the reign of Septimius Severus. A story reported by Eusebius has it that Origen wished to follow him in martyrdom, but was prevented only by his mother hiding his clothes. The death of Leonidas left the family of nine impoverished when their property was confiscated. Origen, however, was taken under the protection of a woman of wealth and standing, but as her household already included a heretic named Paul, hmm, Paul, the strictly orthodox Origen seems to have remained with her only a short time. Hmm, that's interesting. Paul, if true, that's an interesting crossing of paths. Over here, we're at the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy, his intellectual heritage, pagan, Jewish, and Christian. Origen's debt to Holy Scripture is obvious. He quotes the Bible at great length, often drawing together seemingly disparate passages to make a profound theological point. Yet his thought is all the while informed by his Greek philosophical education, specifically that of the Middle Platonic tradition, notably the works of the Jewish Platonist Philo of Alexandria and the Neopythagorean philosopher Numinius of Apamia, I think. Origen shares with Philo an insistence on the free will of the person, a freedom that is direct evidence of humanity's likeness to God. For, like God's being, human existence is free from all necessity. Origen was the first systematic theologian and philosopher of the Christian church. Earlier Christian intellectuals had confined themselves to apologetic and moralizing works. Notable among such writers is Clement of Alexandria, who, like Origen, found much of value in Hellenic philosophy. And for this last segment, for the first part I'm doing in this series on origin, we're at religionfacts.com. Despite his brilliant mind, earnest spirituality, and important contributions to the development of Christian thought, Origen has received mixed reviews in Christian history. He had no lack of admirers in the first centuries after his death, most notably among them the church historian Eusebius and St. Jerome the scholar. But several regional synods of Catholic Church, and perhaps one general council, labeled him a heretic due to both his teachings and some wrongly attributed to him. Thanks in part to his wealthy patron, Origen produced an enormous literary output over the course of his life. His major scholarly work is the Hexapla, an edition of the Old Testament in six columns. He also wrote commentaries on many books of the Bible. So Origen was an interesting fella. And I'm not sure if you know about him. I hope that this has maybe piqued your curiosity on him. And maybe you'll come back to see the next one. Because to resolve the problem of an inerrant book that contained errors, Origen taught that there were layers within scripture. So we'll get on to that and some of his writings because he was prolific. Hope you enjoyed it and it made you go, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs>